intuitively he knows what needs to be done now and what can wait until later. In addition to all these strengths, he is kind, patient, a gentle guide, a supporter and defender of colleagues, and a confidence builder in others. Now David can do what he wants, when he wants, <laughs> without bureaucracies and colleagues demanding deadlines be met. <laughs> All this said, I will miss the speed with which he got me and my scooter in and out of his car and our conversations on the way to the Capitol. His beautiful writing, his ability to make the words fit the page limits, and the way his eyes and brain make constant drafts perfect. David will travel more, play his drums more, and live in t-shirts more. All things he deserves to do but I will miss the ability to contact my favorite closer any time of the day or night. Thank you so much, David. Can I give you a little kiss on the cheek? Yes. Here, here. I'd like to say a couple words about David. Uh, just a couple. Uh, David is sort of the last man standing He's the last person that was originally with CDS in 1987. Wow. No, 1989. 1989. Oh, okay. Very close. I think he's, uh, I'm one of the original projects. He's one of the original projects in CDS, and uh, he's the last person that has that history. So. Bravo. Bravo. That's the role of you. Bravo. I would, since I work with David too, I just like to acknowledge all of the people that he touched and all the lives of parents and children who he helped. And it, the list goes on. So thank you, David. Well, I have to thank all of you at CBS because it was always a great place to work. <clears throat> So I started there when my scholarship stuff ran out, so I had to get a job. <laughs> so I started applying, and the second application was successful at CDS. And luckily at that point, um, Bob was well known as a leader in the transition to adulthood for kids with disabilities. So there's lots of funding in that field at that time. So we, we get projects going. This led to areas of child mental health and Native Hawaiian cultural programs. So it was a terrific um, experience. And uh, it was known as a soft money machine, Center on Disability Studies, and still is. Uh, <laughs> so I kept us all employed all these years. The last few years have been harder, so it's maybe a good time to retire. <laughs> um, but from my perspective, from where I was in CDS, there wasn't a lot of office politics you know, that were messing things up. It was a great place to work. And that's because of all of you that were there. And then my other friends who have come tonight <laughs> from other parts or domains, thanks for coming. And it was, you know, that was also a good part of my life for those sports tennis relationships and things like that. <laughs> so thank you all for coming. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Great. <laughs> So in the bowl, um, if you haven't done so yet, you can write 
a like a bucket list wish for David to do since he's gonna be so bored. <laughs> there, there's no money in there. <laughs> no money. Yeah. So um, in here is uh, some of the wishes oh, and wow. um, some of the fun ideas for for you to keep busy. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations on your retirement. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks to Leslie and Marla for helping to organize this event. They were on the last main major project I was involved in at the end. The Bioware evaluation. Thank you. All right. And I'll just add, we were, I, I was, I won't speak for you, but I was very lucky to have been on the project. 